what's up guys, Ricardo Laguna back at it with another DIY project and today we're gonna attempt to change the shower valve. Actually, take it back. We're gonna conquer changing the shower valve. We might need to break some tile, so I had to bring my tile contractor and my ace, William. So enough of my talking, let's jump right to it. With this valve, being an issue that it's really stiff and possibly leaking and it's moving and it's not attached properly, we're going to troubleshoot first before we do anything else. So you pop the cap off of this guy. Before you do anything, make sure the water's turned off uh, to the house, the main from the street. Take the handle off by removing this screw here and then the handle will come off. Some rust because of water and everything. But that's common, right? That doesn't mean it needs to get replaced. Probably would be wise to replace it. Uh, William, I'm on a budget. Yeah. <laughs> then you can leave this and sell the property as is. <laughs> <laughs> they normally have stuff that's interchangeable with these type of, of cartridges, so we're gonna we're gonna pull it, see what we can do from behind here to avoid breaking tiles and having to, re to replace the whole valve. So with that being said, I'm gonna remove the escutcheon cover and then we'll remove the sleeve and we'll get in behind here and see what's going on. Not mounted to anything. It doesn't look like there's any. William, why is there a piece of wood in there? Well, that's my concern is why this is so floppy. Nobody that knows what they're doing probably had it pushed in here to hold that, you know. Is that so, common? It's common here in Las Vegas. <laughs> is that OSHA proof? Never. Who needs WD when you have the death grips of William? <laughs> See those pythons? <laughs> There you go. No, Python is your, your guns. You, you show up. There it is. There it is. And here's what happened when one competent guy flexed his bicep. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Oh my goodness. Oh, holy moly. Oh Since we're going to end up pulling all this off to redo the valve because we are going to end up breaking the tile, we're going to go ahead and probably see if we can find a soap dish to uh, match this while we got it out. If not, we'll just cover it with tile. So, um, so in other words, you're giving me a bonus. <laughs> bonus work. Even though the whole shower could really use a whole tear out and redo. So you're telling me I need a new shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's where the B team comes in place. Uh, William goes on a union break and he gave me the task of knocking some tile down. Hopefully by the time he gets back, It'll prove my work. Trick to the trade, be finesse so you don't crack other tiles and don't give William extra work. <sighs> Slow and steady. We'll get us to the finish line. Ta-da! My part is done, so let's bring the experts in. All right, hey, looks good. Not bad. A couple of holes, I mean, nothing we can't fix. We'll tear it out and fix it, but uh, B plus. B plus? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Better than when I was in high school when I passed my physics class with a D plus. So, <laughs> mom, I'm making you proud. All right. Now that I've found the studs, I'm just talking up my lines so I can take out the board and we can get the valve replaced. Goodbye already. What am I gonna call that? Drywall with valve. hello new technology. So this is just, we're just putting on the pipe sealant. We normally call it pipe dope. It's just something that will seal the threads when we get it all screwed together. So out with the old, in with, in the, with the new. But these are the fittings that are, I'm able to interchange with the PEX pipe because everything's gone to plastic now. So when we go, to the PEX fittings, they all fit onto these. So when you go from the copper to the new PEX, we have to change them somehow. And instead of welding, these are a little bit easier. To and faster. And faster. I like faster. And efficient. And efficient. Double whammy. William, 14 and a quarter? 14 and a quarter. So I just like to sand with my wire uh, brush sander before I put the shark bite couplers on so that way they're clean when we put the valve on. Now that we got the plumbing all fixed up, we're gonna put the vent shield on, which is a better tile factor board for the installation process. You either have really strong quads 
or a knee of steel? Knee of steel. So that's how you do center holes? Yeah. So this is Miss Material's debt shield. So it's got a concrete paper faced and it's got a fiberglass backing, which makes it a little bit more water resistant. But green board was never waterproof or water resistant, which you have. So this material is a little bit better. Although not ideal for our situation, we'd rather waterproof the entire shower. I like to call this an upgrade. Yes. Woo! Okay, get ready to seal this up. I like the way that the plumbing is done. The new valve looks good. They've gone from the copper and changed it to the PEX pipe. We raised the shower head a few inches here. And uh, we're ready to seal it up. So in other words, I won't hit my head anymore. No. Because I'm over six foot tall. Because you're tall. Yes. And let's see if this fits like a glove. Oh, look at that, William. Yeah. Is this your first rodeo? First time. <laughs> Man, you got lucky. I know. Better to be lucky than good. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get me a couple of lines real quick so I can get this marked out so I can cut it before I mix my mud and then that way I only gotta make one solid good cut for this and I can stack it all at one time. And I can cut this ahead of time so my mud doesn't dry. So normally I would make a big batch with the drill, but since it's just a small project, I'm just gonna whoop some up by hand with my margin trowel real quick. So forget power tools, manpower it is. Just to be sure that you follow the directions, you know, the mixing directions and flaking and all that stuff. So I don't need a measuring cup. This is all by eyeing it. This is all by experience right now, yes. Ooh, wisdom, guys. Wisdom. This fence right here is for four ten walls, so it's got plenty of strength for the application that we're using for the shower. No, not yet, Car uh, Ricardo. We got forgot it. my name already. <laughs> ah! All right, I'm ready to start spreading. Whoa, whoa, not yet, Ricardo. We gotta let the mud slake and do its thing, and then mix it up again before it's got the proper strength, and then we'll put it on the wall. All right, so five minute union break. Yes, five minute union break. So normally because when we did the demo, I saw the green board, I would recommend a full tear out. But because Ricardo, you're pinching pennies for the full remodel. By the way, I'm not no penny pincher, I'm just frugal. So Mr. Frugal Ricardo, we're going to do a penny saver job and just seal this in the way it is and we'll save the full waterproofing job for the remodel. William, looks great, but where are the spacers? Ricardo, this tile doesn't have spacers. It has pre-made little tabs that are spacers. Oh, amateur hour, compare the sensei. Professional. Oh, professional, got it. <laughs> All right, before the grout, can you please assemble my soap dish? A yes, classic sir. 1990. This is fitting for the age of the shower. <laughs> oh, perfect. Just like in Back in the Future. We're Just going back to the 90s. Here in the future. You mean the past. Exactly. Just like it was meant to be there. <laughs> I haven't seen a new house have one of this, so I think this puts a, a higher value in this home. 1990 called, they want their soap dish back. <laughs> all right, now that the tile's all cured up, we're ready for grout. We're gonna grout mixed up. We let it slake the allotted amount of time, and we're ready to put it in, get it sealed up. Okay, we're on the home straight. Ricardo, 24 hours, you can shower in your new shower. We need a handle though. Oh, guess we gotta put this on, huh? What about this? Oh, what yeah. is that for? That too, you might need to put that on too, right? <laughs> well guys, just like that, another DIY project's in the books. I know you think you need to take a shower, but you gotta wait 24 hours for everything to cure. Everything's been tested and ready for you to go tomorrow. What are we talking about? I smell like roses. Huh? <laughs>